Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got a very short video for you today. We had a question, somebody was asking how to add more space between the top of the page here and the header in the WordPress 2020 site. This is going to be a very short video, but it's really easy to do. Like I say, we've got to add a little bit of CSS to this, but don't let it put you off, really easy. So I'm going to right click and select like I say, I'm using Chrome. Most browsers have this feature now. And it's showed us this is the site's main content here, or site content here. Let's just open that up with a little arrow there. And we'll open this one up. And as we roll over, you'll see it, it'll start to select things. And the site content there is what we actually want. It's an ID, as it says there. So right over here, with the inspector, as long as you've got elements selected on one side, you'll get HTML and style selected on the other side, you'll get CSS. I'm going to just put the amount of padding we want. So I'm going to say padding top, dash top. I'll put this bit of code down below. You're welcome to copy it and adjust it to how you need. And then just put in how much extra you want to put in there. So let's say 100 pixels, 100 px. It's not made any difference. Let's go 200. There we go, and that's pushed that down. We've obviously had 100 or so there originally. So just adjust this number however you want to. And with the inspector here, you can actually roll up and down with your mouse wheel if you want to adjust it up and down. I don't know if you can see that's rolling up and down. Once you're happy with where it is, I'm going to leave it at 193. I'm going to copy this. And also need this ID here which is site content. I've copied the other thing, so I can't copy this. So just remember site dash content. Now we're going to go to our dashboard, we're going to go down to our appearance to customize, down to the additional CSS panel. And I've got a bit of code in here already. And I've actually got that in there already. That's why that 100 didn't work. Good idea to give things a title here so if I take that out of the way I'll do it again for you with 200 okay and it was an ID all IDs have a hashtag in front of them then the ID name site dash content then we can open and close some curly brackets and inside just hit the enter put a bit of space there we can paste that bit of code with a padding 200 or 193 pixels and that's pushed that down again and it's as simple as that that should do this for all the pages because it's the actual site content there so there you have it very short and sweet video i'll put this css down below you're welcome to use it if you need to i hope that's answered that question once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.